the time has come it is frankie's head and do this weekend as i kind of explained in my last video but then had to cut it out because i was worried she was going to watch the video before the actual hen do weekend because obviously everything's kind of a surprise i think anyway tomorrow night is like a mamma mia themed evening she loves mamma mia so like abba vibes in true amy style it is the day before i'm going and i have not tried any of my outfits on i bought six outfits from asos i'm just going like 70s disco vibes kind of like that hippie era i bought some platform heels and yeah six like dresses i think i bought a jumpsuit as one of them so i'm gonna try them all on you guys obviously can't help me but i'm gonna film them all anyway and then you guys can tell me which one you prefer and it probably will not be the one i wore and then i'll probably be really upset outfit number one is from bershka she's very cute she's very tight to get into like once she's on she's fine to get into there's not that much room i kept checking and looking and being like there must be a zip somewhere but there isn't it's really cute like the sleeves are very long which i love it fits me really nicely i do really like it but i don't think it's giving me abba mamma mia next is from a brand called pieces which is just on asos on paper this was my favorite in person it's just not the kind of material i thought it was going to be it's very thin don't mind my awful fake tan i honestly don't know what happened it's just very very thin like it's quite a thin material i don't know why but online it looked like it was going to be quite thick uh and this was like in my head my favorite sort of one not 100 percent. we'll see we'll see next i got this which is actually i think like a beach bikini cover-up so it's completely sheer it's mesh but i think that was kind of the vibe back then we're only going to be in a house like just us girls not going out or anything so i wanted to get it just to see what it was like this i think was the cheapest out of all of them i can't work out if i've got this totally wrong or if this is actually quite cool maybe i've got this really wrong but i quite like it i don't know this is the jumpsuit which i'm really excited to try on i love the necktie i just love anything that ties around your neck i love the design the sleeves are kind of flared which is very 70s and it does fit me on the legs especially with the platforms it'll be fine the only thing that's annoying is the crotch is just a tiny bit too long for me just feel like i want to cinch that up there so i get the proper full fit because otherwise it just looks a bit nothing next i bought this which is miss selfridge it's so nice this is the design it's got all these massive buttons down just get my shoesies on it fits me so well like i know it's petite so it probably should but like the length is perfect i love the shape i could have bigger boobs but that's okay i can put like a bra or something on i love the color i love the shape i love the style i love the design i love everything about it is it abba 70s vibes enough to wear over the jumpsuit that's the question lastly i bought this which is top shop this is also petite so i had high hopes i love the shape the sleeves are very 70s it just is a bit weird around here it's not doing anything for me in terms of like cleavage i mean i don't have a bra on. i don't really typically wear bras anyway but it's can you see it's just not really doing a huge amount for me there i do like it i'm not a huge fan of the print i don't know i think it's probably between the jumpsuit and the green dress i was in primark the other day and as i was paying i noticed they had like a little bath bomb section and i thought it would be only right that i pick one up and give them a little tester this one is obviously from lush and it is a lot bigger so that is the difference that was 80p these ones i think are about five pounds they kind of range in lush from i would say like four to like seven pounds dependent on which ones you get so yeah i thought i would try this one out so far it's not looking great honestly i would probably have to give it a three out of ten and that's pretty generous it has turned the bath a different color but it's still pretty transparent the lush ones make the whole bath go like completely covered <clears throat> sorry my voice is going it did fizz but it didn't like bob around the bath and it just sank so yeah i'm probably not going to be changing to primark just now but if you are looking for like bougie on a budget 
it did fizz it has changed a bath a different color and it was atp so good morning team i'm just doing a few like last minute bits of packing skincare makeup i decided not to put makeup on because the drive's like three and a half hours so i didn't want to do all my makeup and then sit in a car for three hours i felt like it was just gonna go like a bit horrid i may regret that by the time i get there because you know what it's like when you're in a house there's like 12 of us girls going so i might not want to go and then sit and have to get ready but i'm sure it'll be fine these little bits of my hair are giving me anxiety i think this is from the bleach like it's just broken off which is really really sad we are pretty much ready to rumble all packed i'm excited have that horrid feeling that I've forgotten something. But, I mean, look at how big my case is. And it is so heavy, the wine. It's the wine. For the journey, I made myself an iced coffee so I don't have to stop on way. Very clever, Amy. Let's give it a little test. Oh, she's delicious. Oh no. I packed my lip balm in my case. That is so sad. Anxiety clip because you know the drill, we might want to put our hair up. Sunglasses, in case it gets a bit sunny and you know you're blinded by the light. Grab bag of Skips. Normally I go for orange Doritos, but Skips are so underrated and I saw them and I just really fancied them. The most expensive packet of strawberries you've ever bought. These were £3.49. And that, my friends, is me ready to go. The minute feelings, no, I'm not leaving till I find you. That's incredible. I'm in love with it. I was like, I just want to move here. How did you find this? I'm a producer, darling. <laughs> I'm many talents. Oh, it's so cute. <gasps> I'm not being funny, but her costume on that side. I'm I know. <laughs> you did such a good job. We did it. We oh. pulled it off in the end. Hangover recovery kits. We need those. We need those. Life. I'm ready in my outfit. And I'm ready in my outfit with all the alcohol. Went for the jumpsuit. Oh, we've got full length here. Oh yeah, I haven't got my shoes on. Me neither, the shoes <laughs> are the vibe as well. Okay, cute. Dee -dee -dee. Oh, we're doing, oh my God, this is them. Oh, this is them. Oh, <laughs> Obviously, country really being a part of like this weekend because I know it means a lot to you and it means a lot to all of us to be here as well. <laughs> this time, in four weeks, you will be married. This time, in three weeks, you'll be married. To me, you'll always be my Bradshaw oh, sister, oh. and I'm so happy for you and Ty. I love Simon like a brother. I totally hate him at times. However. He does make you smile, he looks after you because you're lazy. And he, he, he organises your life and I think that's exactly what you need. I think you two have found the perfect match with each other. Yay! 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 Cheers! 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 Well done, Gab. Well done.
vlog. Are you okay? I don't think we're okay. <laughs> it is only... What's the time? 10 to 8. And my sister... Time? I'm talking to the vlog. Know, we're going and my nowhere. sister is already pretty smashed. However, it is a hen party, so she's, it's a lot. She's getting married. Yes, exactly. So... Speaking Oh, Amy, don't fall over on those big heels. Are you joking me? <laughs> Amy's just spilled my drink all over myself. Um, she's gone upstairs, she's redoing her makeup, and then she's coming back downstairs so that we can all be together. She's a little bit wasted. We need to get her on some water and maybe do a cheeky finger down the throat number, just a tactical chunder. Are you ready, Simon? Yes. If you could describe Frankie in one word, what would it be? Lazy. Lazy. Ah. Lazy. Outside, Colthurst Drive, and Sid the dog next door was in front of us, and it was really awkward. The dog pulled the up. Oh! oh. oh. Shut up. Shut up. Go on, Frank, do the shot. Just get it down, yes. Yeah. <laughs> like a woman. Yeah, I love 
Welcome to the Love Island Villa. <laughs> Welcome to Love Island and last night we saw Haley getting off with Justin <laughs> and it was like, oh my god. <laughs> My dream home, one day will be reunited. Bye, bye. Bye, hen house. Bye. And that's a wrap. Two weeks till the big day. <laughs>